<laughs> December 20th, 1917. Having left Louisville, the number 41 passenger train pulled into the station in Shepherdsville. These folks were preparing for Christmas. They were buying Christmas presents. They were ready to go home and celebrate. And in a moment's notice, their lives were forever changed or ended. Among those on board, Annie Reed. She worked for a woman named Mrs. Hurst as a nanny, caring for her eight-month-old baby. On the way back, uh, she was sitting with the Hearst woman and the eight-month-old baby, but then the Hearst woman, one of her friends came on board of the train, and so she asked, she told Annie that she would hold the little baby, and Annie had to move to the smoking sa slash colored section of the train. Shortly after Annie moved to the colored section of the train, the number seven express train, traveling at about 25 miles an hour, crashed into the back of the passenger train. It was a large train, heavy steel, and as a result, it just plowed through the wooden passenger cars in front of it. 49 people between the ages of eight months and 69 died. Mrs. Hurst, her baby and friend, were among them. Annie walked off the train without a scratch. This is Annie's daughter, Catherine. You know, I had them really hurt it like, like this. And Sheila, Sharon, and Camille are her direct descendants. It was a blessing, although, like I say, back in the days, we had to, you know, we were put in the back of the bus or back of the cars or whatever, but at this time, I'm glad she had to be moved, because if it wasn't, I wouldn't be here today. Charlie Hartley is a local historian and has written a book about the crash. While noting this is just one of the several families affected by that crash, he says it's part of history that changed so much for so many. We just simply want to remember and give the descendants an opportunity to remember as well. And I'll mention this also as a result of Annie Reed surviving that train wreck. She went on to become the backbone of one of the larger families in Nelson County. Mr. Hartley's book is called Trainwreck, the story of the Shepherdsville train wreck on December 20th, 1917. And you can find out more about it at the Bullitt County History Museum or in the Bullitt County Public Library System.